There was a soldier sitting outside the majestic White House. He sat there with a heavy heart, tears streaming down his cheeks. A curious little boy happened to pass by and noticed the soldier's sorrowful state. With a compassionate heart, the boy approached the soldier and gently asked, What's wrong? The soldier, touched by the boy's kindness, opened up. I came here hoping to meet the president, but I feel so helpless. I just can't seem to get in. The boy nodded sympathetically, understanding the soldier's dilemma. Yeah, it's tough to get in there, he admitted. But then, with a determined glint in his eye, he extended his hand to the soldier. Come on, he said with conviction. Taking the boy's hand, the soldier rose to his feet, feeling a glimmer of hope. Together, they strode past the stern-faced guards at the gate, who surprisingly didn't utter a word of protest. Across the lush green lawn of the White House, they walked, unhindered by any obstacles. As they stepped into the grand foyer of the White House, the soldier couldn't believe his eyes. Nobody stopped them, nobody questioned their presence. It was as if they belonged there. With the boy leading the way, they entered the president's office, where a portrait of Abraham Lincoln hung on the wall. Dad, the boy addressed the figure in the painting, this man would like to talk to you. The soldier was overcome with emotion as he realized the profound truth in that moment. Just as the boy had guided the soldier to the president, Jesus is there to take your hand and lead him you to the throne of grace. This is the power of prayer. It shouldn't be your last resort. It is the first response in times of need. Exercise your faith today and enjoy the glorious benefit bought with the precious price, the sacrifice of the Son of God.